if six workers earn 10,800 in 20 days, how much will 20 men earn in 8 days? Now, we have three variables here. So, let's write down the variables. What are the variables we have? The first one is number of workers. The next one is the amount they, they are earning and the number of days they are working. So there are three variables. So in the first case there are six workers and the amount is 10,800 and the number of days they took to earn is 20 days. What we have to find out? 6 workers earn 10,800 in 20 days. How much? That means I don't know the amount. Will earn, how much will 20 men, that means number of workers are now 20, earn in 8 days. So this is what we have to find out. Now, we know that if it is direct proportion and inverse proportion between two variables, we know that in direct variation x1 by y1 equal to x2 by y2 and inverse variation we know that x1 into y1 equal to x2 into y2. Now, suppose we have three variables, now what we have to do? How to solve this problem? So, let us go through that again one more time. Six workers earn 10,800 in 20 days. How much will 20 men earn in 8 days? This is what I have to find out. What we will do now is, first we will write this amount as x. Then I will say 10,800 divided by x is equal to, now we are taking the variable for which we have to find out the value on the left hand side then after that we are writing equal to then we will compare each of the other variables how they vary with respect to whether they are direct proportional or inverse proportional for first look at amount and days okay now when i do amount and days that means workers is fixed workers is fixed means number of workers are same if there are same number of workers if you do more days, you will get more amount. If you do less days, you will get less amount. So what is the meaning of that? That means the amount and days are directly proportional. So amount and days are directly proportional. That means more number of days, more amount I will get. So since it is directly proportional, I will write that ratio as it is 20 by 8 and multiply with. Other way I will go now. Now, I will keep the days as fixed. I will look for amount and number of workers. We know that more number of workers will give me more amount. Less number of workers will give me less amount. We are working for the fixed days. So, number of workers is more, more amount. Number of workers is less, less amount. That means again, this is also direct proportion only. If it is direct proportion, I will again go back and write the ratio as it is. If it is inverse, we will be making this reverse. Instead of 6 by 20, we will write down 20 by 6. Now, since it is direct, we have written that this is called compound, compound ratio. We are multiplying those two. Now, let us simplify this. We can cancel 20 and 20. And we will simplify this. We will write down next step 10,800 divided by x is equal to 6 by 8 which is equal to 3 by 4. And doing cross multiplication we get 3x equal to 4 into 10,800 or can I say x equal to 4 into 3,600 which is equal to 14,400. So the amount they will earn, so the amount they will earn is 14,400. So let me repeat that again, summarize this. In this problem we are looking at, in this problem we are looking at three variables now. So we know that when it is two variables, 
how to do the problem if it is direct proportion or inverse proportion. When there are three variables, what we will do? We will take one variable as fixed. We will see how the variable for which we need value is relating to the other. Is it directly varying or inversely varying? Is it a direct proportion or is it an inverse proportion? So, for example, now suppose we see here workers amount and day. You work for more with more number of people for more number of days, you will get more amount. We know that very clearly. Suppose I want to earn, let us say, 1 lakh. I have to work 20 days. Um, I mean, like I want to, let us say, I mean, basically maybe example is like they want to earn 1 lakh. Then the number of days they have to work and they have to put in more hours. If they put in more hours or more days, they will be earning the more money. So that's a direct proportion. So between first what we will do now, we will take where the variable is having x that we will write it on the left hand side. We will write it on the left hand side. That we will write on the left hand side. Then after that, we will equate it and then we will see, keep the workers as constant. See how the amount and days are related. If workers are fixed, if more days you work, you will earn more money. That means it's a direct proportion. Similarly, if days are fixed, then more workers you have, more amount you will get. That is also direct proportion. So we multiply them directly the ratios. If suppose the one of the variable is inversely proportional, then you have to take the reciprocal of this particular ratio because inverse means we know x1 by x2 equal to y2 by y1 not y1 by y2 that logic we have to remember so based on that we know that it's nothing but 14400 what they will be earning